So we're walking over. I'm freaking happy because I just found my SP minnow. So the rules here are Tunis River fishing. It's open. it's open December 1st. I think closes March 1st. March 1st. It's only open Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday for people during that time of the year. Um, you have to use barbless hooks. And I believe you can only use one rod. I'm not entirely sure. Because since you have to use barbless hooks and stuff. I'm not sure. Someone comment on that. Let me know what you guys think. So yeah. Y'all can see there's a small car there. Probably people on this bridge. This is the Salinas River. People fishing right there. I don't know if they caught anything. It looks like a good little spot. Oh, there's a guy right here. And the highway is just right there. Like a lot of cars pass by. You got more over here. This is the spot we used to hit. This is the spot where I got my 26 inch. Wow, some people even brought their, their RVs. Or... So this is the SP Minnow. Woo! It's great for catching bass, striper bass, and all, all, all kinds of other fish. One second right here, because I hear people. Any luck, guys? No? Earlier? Yeah. I could have just gone across the road and through here. Next time I know. So there's like three bridges, right? So I'm gonna go to the second one because I didn't see anyone there earlier, but we'll see. I'm gonna set up shop right here. See what we can catch. I'm gonna try out the SP minnow first and then we're gonna test out the anchovies. Some people said they caught earlier, but some luck like earlier. My friend told me they had been slaying them over here. So guys, this is the this is one of the strongest knots. It doesn't really come off that easily if you do it right. So you put it through the hole. You have to have like a double, like, like, a, like a loop like that, double line. Just fold it. And you do like if you're tying a shoelace, do one knot, one over, one under. And then this one, you're gonna bring it all around the whole, the whole thing. Yeah, okay, just cut it. Like last year, I had a video here where I, we kept seeing like we were here for like an hour or two, and then some guys just get here and then they start slaying them over there. And they had waiters, and then we even asked them what they were using. They're using a half ounce, I think it's a half ounce, um, with a little like a swim bait, like a white swim bait, and a red, red half ounce uh, lead head, whatever they're called. Cast. Yeah, finally. Uh, here we go. Let's see if we can catch something. It's like a floating SP minnow. So it just if you're not if you're not dragging it just floats to the top, but once you drag it like to look um here's a little bit of the action. Oh, it's hard to record with the phone. Um yeah guys um as you can tell <laughs> I'm recording with my iPhone 6 which is not the best and kind of like I should be probably going like this I do love lake fishing um, as you can see there's a freaking two kayaks coming back from over there I don't know if yeah, this is my Okuma Salilo length medium heavy action 10 to 30 pounds of line um one half to two ounces on the like on the lures the jig heads whatever and i have made a different setup this time 
I'm gonna go for like a little Carolina rig, even though I don't really, I don't really make a leader. I did have one, was gonna make one, but kind of lazy right now. Yeah. Está frío, yeah. Any luck? ¿Han agarrado? No. ¿Han visto a alguien que agarre? Uno. Oh, qué, qué bueno. So this man just passed. They haven't caught anything themselves, but they 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 did see someone catch someone some already one. So that's good news. Um, so with that, then we're gonna set up the anchovy. Hopefully that works. I don't know guys, I usually use magic string, but sometimes I just put it in like, you know, like whatever. They have a little spine right here, which helps you kind of, helps them stay in place, but these are notorious for falling down, falling off the hook. Unless you have the one little thing called the magic string, and it helps them, it helps them keep on the hook. I usually cut off the, the, the head of the anchovy and, the, and sometimes the tail too. But this time I don't have, I didn't bring my knife for some reason, so here it is. Hopefully the, the stripers love it. This is called like having a drag and what it means is like when a fish bites and he's gonna take the hook you don't want to have the drag too tight like too much tension because he's just gonna he's gonna feel it and he's probably just gonna spit it out but you don't want to have it too loose either because he's just gonna run off with it so you want to have it so that he doesn't kind of notice that he's he's hooked until you see him like swimming off with the with the bait a little bit then you tighten the root and you tighten the drag then you set the hook but for here you want to have it so that it's not too tight they're able to pull it a little Ooh, nice shot Ooh, it looks it looks dope anyway to the mouth of the river it's about a mile so it is kind of look look oh no i thought it looked like that guy had caught something it looks like they're um what is it this shit got stuck but it doesn't look like he's fighting but um it looks like they were trolling that's what it's called when you're when you're you're going along with the bow or any like you know type of thing and um it's gotta keep sucking over here and you have your line in the water you probably have a lure in there and it's just like floating along alongside you and it's just like Fish will bite sometimes to that. A lot of the time, keep what? Yeah, stay tuned, like and subscribe for more videos.